I'm Mr. West. I teach math, girls tennis, and baseball. And I'm Miss T. I teach ELA and AVID. Hi, Woo! freshmen! Woo! So we, together, are going to take you on a tour of your new school. So you want to start with the admin building, Mr. West? Well, if we flip around, we've got the admin building. Mr. West, can you tell the kids what are some of the, the resources that are here for them? Well, we've got attendance in here, our principals, assistant principals, uh, we've got our career center, our health office with our nurse, um, what else? Uh, counselors. Uh, counselors are also We're in here. Awesome. We've got a whole bunch of uh, resources that are available inside this building. It's a really fun place to be. Yeah! fellows would be here. Let me introduce you to two of the best guys on the planet that keep our school happening. Gentlemen. Mario Enriquez. Manny Alvarez. Yeah. Hey, right here. So this is, this is the wellness center. The wellness center at Century High School offers a variety of different support services. The person in charge of the program is Ms. Yesenia Ortega. Phone number is 714-796-7429. The types of programs available involve health classes and health resources, mental health classes and resources, personal development courses such as adult English classes and adult computer classes, academic expectation type courses and meetings such as meetings with the principal, school state assessment presentations, A through G classes, as well as child academic development courses Hey, so we're gonna show you the quad area. This is where we're gonna kind of be hanging out in between classes maybe. Um, definitely lunch. We sit at the lunch table. And over here we have your strap. There's usually some music playing during lunch, which is pretty cool. Um, the choir. Ah, oh, yes. Oh. Choir, music. Building over here, the 200 building, is where our theater is. Our music programs are run, so this is one of our grooviest buildings in the school, right here. Oh! Hey, did you know that when you stand in this spot and you're speaking, the acoustics, the design of this little amphitheater area, you can talk really quietly and it, it echoes all the way through. You can hear it all the way around you. Yeah, yeah. so you can't be shady in this area. No pun intended. This is also a really cool epicenter of our campus because band does some practicing here after school and the drummer guys that do the marching band and Polynesian class, Let's see those moves! Some of you guys are gonna wanna party with. Woo! So um, all kinds of really groovy things happen in this area. It's kind of a place to watch. Oh my gosh, are you guys taking, what? You're resting on the job already? Come on, we still have a lot to do. Get up, you guys. Oh, dude, I was up late last night gaming. Oh, speaking of which. I was 
reading too much, man. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, right over here we've got the library um, with Miss Wright and, and Miss Gonzalez in there. They do an awesome job. And the library is where you will come and pick up your Chromebooks. It's where teachers will send you to get extra materials if you need them, like if we're going to check out a book or whatever. So this is the place. This is also where we do um, after school stuff with homework and all of that as tutoring, well. Right? Yeah, tutoring, that's it. That's the word I was looking for, children. Want to tell them about this building here, Mr. Um, so as, as we go over here, again, we have the Nicholas Academic Center. Does a really good job with, with a lot of our scholars and, and finding ways to, to get kids into secondary uh, education and, and go on past uh, high school. Um, and through the doors, um, we'll have our gaming arena. Oh, you know what? Isn't that where we have our ASB? Here we have the ASB window. This is where you're gonna buy any kind of tickets to like plays or whatever. When you graduate, this is where you're gonna come and buy like your prom tickets, etc. It's also where you can buy lots of cool century swag. Yeah, you'll, you'll see Miss Kolar in here. Um, she's awesome. When those windows are open, go ahead and, and get all your stuff from, from her. She'll take your money. to the end of the 300 building where the library is. This entrance here gets you to the art department. It's got some of the robotic and gaming stuff, photography. What building are we in front of right now? This is the 400 building. And in the 400 building, we've got a lot of different teachers that are in here. Uh, English teachers, yes. many, many English teachers, and a lot of the sciences are, are located in this building. Now, there's a few entrances to this building, so it can get kind of confusing. We've got a couple double doors over there, a couple double doors over here, a couple double doors over here, and there's also classrooms on the back side that you can get into. Where are you going? But I'm hungry, man. I want to get in line. I want to be first in line, man. Hey, you know the other way? I'm going to have you talk to the kids a little bit about the beginnings of our athletic department here. One of the things that um, I want you guys to know is that we have a lot of awesome coaches and a lot of awesome athletes. So sports is your thing. This is the school to get involved. Take it away, Mr. West. Absolutely. So this is our entrance into our gymnasium area as well as our girls varsity locker room and one of the entrances to the boys locker room. Uh, so follow me this way. Um, over to the right, we do have the yard, our baseball field, Come on. where Mr. Cortez runs our awesome program. I've been blessed to be able to work with him for the past 13 years, uh, coaching with him. He does an awesome job with our team, with our boys. So if you're interested in playing baseball, man, hit him up. And this girl softball to go there too or no? No, they've, they've got their own field out there that we're going to show you in a little oh, bit. Oh, awesome, cool, because I didn't even know that. Boys PE locker room. This is where you guys are going to be lining up, um, seeing Mr. Dallas and, and Mr. Young. They're running those PE programs. They do an awesome job as well. So as you see, we've got our, uh, our track and field area over here in our football field with our stand. I guess it's a soccer field as well. Um, nice little area. Um, PE spends a lot of time outside as well, using the basketball courts. Don't forget volleyball, beach people. Woo! And there's a little door over there with our uh, our equipment manager, uh, Mr. Johnny Luares. He does an amazing job. So get to know him as well. We also have our dance. Um, our dance room over in the corner over here, and again, um, access to the, the gym. We should probably say a word about some other things that go on in the gym. So you, one of the other people on this campus you have got to get to know is Miss Yeager. She is in what? She's on the lower part of the 5,000 building. She is our awesome ASB director and she puts on some of the best swanky swaggy stuff that happens in that gym. She is the heart of sensory pride. Get to know her. What are these two up to? Aren't we supposed to be filming a tour? What are you guys doing? Well, I'm playing a 
play tennis on the tennis courts. What? We have tennis courts? Like I said, I'm the, I'm the varsity girls tennis coach here, and, and honestly, we've got one of the best tennis programs out of all the high schools in Santa Ana. So if you want to play, come talk to me. No, no tryouts, man. <laughs> She's gonna get so mad. So something that you do need to know when you look at your schedule, if you've got room 5,100 and something, that, that 100, that's the, that's the lower level. And then you'll have like 5,200 and something. That'll be the upper level. So two up top, one down on the bottom. Seems kind of, kind of easy, right? Yeah, stop at any time. So thank you all so much for joining us. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed your tour. Again, I'm Mr. West. Make sure you stop by and say hi.